Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime, and today we have a really interesting story because According to Phil Spencer himself, some Xbox games will be coming to Nintendo Switch or Nintendo Switch platforms, the next Switch, whatever, in the future. And look, this isn't a rumor, this isn't speculation, this is not a data leak, although those are pretty legit. This is actually from Phil Spencer himself in an interview with Wall Street Journal. Gaming. Now, before we get into it, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Into the AM. Into the AM is a premium shirt design company. They have new designs coming out all the time, 100% cotton blend that's been pre-shrunk and lasts way longer than the typical shirts you will buy out at retail or many other different websites. I could personally vouch for these shirts. I've been wearing them for a couple years at this point. They do make up probably about half of my wardrobe at this point. They got basic blank tees, long sleeves, hoodies, and yes, a bunch of printed tees and none of my printed tees in two years through well over 40 washes have actually been damaged or had any color fade. You can see the one I'm wearing right now. I got this a nice, uh, they call this a ritual tee. I kind of call it a Halloween t-shirt. I really like this one a lot, uh, especially for this time of year. They do have a massive Halloween sale going on right now. And you should use our link down in the description, into the am.com slash Nintendo Prime 10, or use code Nintendo Prime 10 at checkout to receive 10% off of your order. This 10% does stack on top of whatever sales they currently have going on on their website. So go check out their special Halloween sale. Get yourself some amazing t-shirts that I know you're absolutely going to love. And let's get right back to the story. So today on Wall Street Journal, Phil Spencer did an interview going over the Activision Blizzard deal and had a lot of questions come up about it. And he does sound pretty confident the deal is going to go through, despite some of the concerns out of the UK government. It does seem that he thinks they'll be able to push it past that, and it should be closed by summer of 2023. But he was asked about a particular game and what his plans are with this game. And, well, he went into some details here that I think are worth talking about. So here are the quotes from Phil Spencer himself. Call of Duty specifically will be available on PlayStation. I'd love to see it on Nintendo Switch. I'd love to see the game playable on many different screens. Our intent is to treat Call of Duty like Minecraft. And this is the first time he's actually said this. He always said it wouldn't be exclusive, but he never really detailed what the plans were or what Microsoft is thinking for Call of Duty. And his thought process says, hey, Call of Duty is not even properly supporting all of the biggest and best platforms out there, Switch, so let's get it out there. Now, obviously, by the time this deal goes through, we could be talking about a Switch Pro or a next-generation Nintendo platform, but it does look like he's got interest in making sure Call of Duty is there on Nintendo's platforms moving forward, which means... In theory, this Activision Blizzard deal is actually good for Nintendo fans because it means we might get more games. As an example, we got Overwatch and Overwatch 2. I, Overwatch 2 is not going to go anywhere, and I wouldn't be surprised if Phil Spencer would keep Overwatch 3 if when that's eventually a thing and have that come to Nintendo's platforms. I think the current thing is coming to Switch. He'll probably keep going, and now we might additionally get Call of Duty eventually in a year or two. To me, that's absolutely incredible, and yeah, that's good news. I mean, we need good news. Good news makes the world go round. We focus so much on the bad, so much on the negativity, like this, you know, this entire Bayonetta 3 situation. It felt like a, a hilarious yet sad story, kind of a negative story that has been spun a little bit in a positive light with the sales of Bayonetta 3. But when it comes to actual video game news, we really would like good news. And Phil Spencer delivered the goods for us Switch owners, telling us that he wants Call of Duty on Switch. And remember, this isn't just some random person just wishing that this happens. If the deal goes through, Phil Spencer controls Activision Blizzard and controls Call of Duty. And what he says goes. If he wants it on Switch, it will be on Switch. If he wants it on everything, it will be on everything. So, yes, Thank you, Phil Spencer, for giving us some hope on one of the largest IPs in the world coming to Switch. This isn't going to replace our Splatoons. This isn't going to replace all the other games we play, but it's just a nice addition, too. We did get Black Ops 2 back in the day on Wii U. We had other previous Call of Duty games in a Wii-created fashion on Wii, but actually the motion controls were pretty cool, and 
That's another advantage Switch has. We still have those motion controls that maybe they'll take advantage of. Either way, I'm really excited at this prospect, especially on whatever Nintendo has coming next, or even the current Switch if this is just what Nintendo's going to ride with for the next few years. So I'm really excited to see this IP come over. I really enjoy it. Obviously, we have no idea when it's going to come over and which version is going to come over or any other specific details because they need to finish off the Activision Blizzard purchase as is, right? $70 billion. Like, they got a lot of money invested in this to make this work, but I'm happy. I know there might be some, a little bit of drama on if they're going to keep it on PlayStation, and they did say in this thing that they would put it on Game Pass. Of course, everything's on Game Pass that they own, so that shouldn't be a shocker, but yeah, I honestly think that this is great news for us Switch owners. More big third-party games, the better, and if Phil Spencer wants to continue to show heavy support for Switch, I'll take it. Not just the Ori IP, not just the Minecraft and Minecraft Legends, just just keep it coming, Phil. Thank you so much for being someone who seems to actually care about the industry while also doing what's in the best interest of your company, which is obviously for Call of Duty to keep making as much money as possible, but also to keep boosting your Game Pass service. Honestly, Phil, you're kind of getting the best of both worlds with what you're saying. I find it really hard to disagree. Anyways, folks, you guys let me know what you think about this because Phil Spencer has been really interested in how he's approached the whole console competition realm and the infighting that seems to be happening with Sony trying to block all of this and obviously him constantly having Nintendo Switches in the backgrounds of his videos. Even if there isn't anything coming, he clearly enjoys the platform. He called Nintendo a treasure in the past, and if they were ever in trouble, he would personally make sure Nintendo doesn't go under. Not that Nintendo's in any trouble, but it just kind of shows the deep respect and care he truly has for Nintendo as a company. And now to say one of the biggest IPs in the world that's been purposely skipping Switch, he's like, by the way, yes, yeah, Switch, that's a thing. It'll happen. I just need to get control of the IP. That is, man, that's awesome. And I can't help but smile to that one. You guys let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. Do you even care? I don't know. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. I think it's good news. So let me know and we'll catch each other in that next video.